Hey friends and family, how we doing today? I pray that all is well. Um, have we ever had a day where we just feel as if there is an innumerable amount of reasons that we could be stressed or, or have anger or feel as if there is nothing going good on the given occasion of any said day or maybe even consecutive days in semblance, but uh, somehow you just have peace and somehow you just have joy and somehow you just want to help somebody still, no matter what it comes down to. Uh, you just feel as if all is going wrong. Well, I've been having one of those kind of days, and the beautiful thing is I know there's only one way to look and only one way to go, and that is always the same in any occasion, whether it's good, whether it appears to be bad, or whether we just feel as if we can't take anymore. And that way is up. Our Heavenly Father never forsakes us. And that's such a beautiful promise. Um, Psalm 118 states that his love endures forever. Today, it seemed as if no matter which direction I seemed to go, I hit a dead end road. And then I could turn around and walk this way and, and also hit a dead end road. And thus forth for the forward and the back. And the beautiful thing is, is what I'm saying, is the Lord provides us a peace that surpasses all understanding. And if I were to live on my, my ideas or my understanding and my emotions, I would be susceptible to anger, uh, stress that just overwhelms and creates so much, anxi so much anxiety that I would cave, I would break, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. And uh, many a times prior to accepting Jesus and the Holy Spirit into my heart, I've reached that breaking point. I've reached it a uh, innumerable amount of times. But I know, I know that each of us have reached a point or a day such as I'm having. And I just want to let you know that there is always hope. There is always a reason to find joy. Even when it seems the hardest or the furthest thing from what we want or what we think we could have. But there's always joy that's attainable. There's always peace that surpasses all understanding amidst any chaos. This peace will change the atmosphere inside yourself and a love that uh, knows no wrongs, that sees no for, um, lack of forgiveness, that holds no account to what other people are doing to us or what other situations or circumstances are trying to cave in and pile upon our heads. And that can only come from a relationship with the Lord Christ Jesus and His Holy Word, which He was and is the Word in the flesh, God in the flesh. So if anything I could do today is share how extravagant, how wonderful, and how incompatible a relationship with the Lord and Savior Christ Jesus is, I want to say keep your head up, keep trucking along, because we all have stressful days. Whether you're in the faith or whether you're not in the faith, we all have stressful days, and we all find times where it's hard to push forward. But the difference is when you have the faith and the knowledge that there's one who holds you, one who's always there for you, one who's never going to let you go, and how there's always good to come from an appearance of a bad situation, we know where to go when the times get hard. And that's through prayer, supplication, through love. And, and we know that no matter what, no matter what, it's going to be good at the end result. And that's a blessing that I would love for each of us to have and to embrace. Not just embrace, but to, to have eternity along with that. God bless you. For each and every one of us to know that when there's a problem or an obstacle or something that seems as if it's too much for us to handle, that there is a solution. There is a solution. For just as this water here floweth, one day it will run dry and be an empty basin or be nothing at all. But there is a water that lives a water that never runs dry, that will quench your spiritual thirst, that will never leave, never forsake you, and will always hold you dear and near, for his love endures forever. This love is that of no other than the Lord Christ Jesus. I pray that we can reach our hands out to him and clench him so that we may let go of the baggage and the problems and obstacles and wicked wiles of this world and cling to the truth, the way, 
and the life that sets us free. God bless and peace be to all.